Employee Share Option Plan. Many startups establish an Employee Share Option Plan, ESOP, as a way of incentivizing employees, advisors, and consultants to assist them. The ESOP pool typically range from 5% to 15% of the total issued share capital of your company. Number one, what do you need to establish an ESOP? Generally speaking, you'll need A, your ESOP rules. That sets out the general rules governing the ESOP. B, letter of grant. This typically sets out the number of option shares granted to an individual and the exercise price. C, exercise notice. This is the standard form that the share option holder should use to convert their option shares into shares. D, share option certificate. This is the certificate that sets out details that the options given under the ESOP can be exercised. E, corporate resolutions to approve the ESOP. Number two, what should you care about? Startups often find us to solve their problem of a crowded shared capital table. At the initial stages, the founders gave their shares away too freely and now have a share capital table filled with people who no longer contribute to the company. To prevent this from happening, introduce the following concepts to your ESOP. A, the concept of vesting. For example, that the shares will only vest over time if the advisor or consultant continues to contribute to the company. B, the concept of good lever, as well as the option to cancel the options that have not vested. C, the concept of bad lever, as well as the option to cancel all options granted. D, the concept of different class rights. Should these potential shareholders be allowed to vote? Doing this gives you control over who becomes a shareholder of your company. At some stage, you should also consider clubbing all the minority stakeholders in a special purpose vehicle. Number three, what else should you consider? The other things to consider are matters like exercise price and exercise conditions. Some startups prefer to tag exercise price to market price, whilst others don't mind giving this for free. Generally speaking, you should try to make the administration of your ESOP as straightforward as possible. Remember that when you grant an option share to someone, you are essentially that a potential stake in your unicorn idea. So think twice before you do.